talk to yourselves? Yeah, I, I, um, <laughs> I sing to myself. So. Eventually, late at night, that can happen, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I have so many things to tell them. <laughs> oh, most importantly, please be mature. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself talking to your stem cells? No, but I sing to them once in a while. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself yelling at your cells? Um, yes. <laughs> Why did you die? <laughs> if you yell at them, I think that they are going to differentiate, so you shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, I usually um, blame them for just not behaving as I want to. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Sometimes I think Giving them some nice words of encouragement <laughs> is a good thing. I do. <laughs> what do you say to them? Please, no. <laughs> no. I do. <laughs> Not yelling, but uh, uh, talk or uh, transmit positive thoughts. Uh, Only when no one else is around. <laughs> All the time, yes. Um, when they behave, you know, I praise them, you know, I pet the dish. So since you're here, who's babysitting your stem cells right now? Um, I have someone in the lab looking after them for me. I tried to scale down as much as possible. Oh, a colleague of mine, Sean Goldhar, back in uh, Toronto, is helping me out. Thanks, Sean. Now that you're at this conference, who is watching and taking care of your cells for you? Well, actually, um, there's a very kind postdoc in our lab, Miguel Crespo. He always takes care of my lab. So, so a nice young technician? My students, because I don't do it for a long time. <laughs> uh, my summer student. <laughs> and my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm fortunate to actually be at my lab in Boston, so I'll be taking care of myself right after the conference. <laughs> yeah, thanks to Oscar, he's one of my mentors and he's taking care of my cells. He's mad, I, I freeze all my cells now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kat. I hope the cells are okay. Steffi, you're, you gotta help me there. <laughs> um, and I put mine to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. All, all cells have been cryogenically frozen and uh, they're just awaiting my arrival. Yeah.